Have you ever wondered who holds the reins of the global economy? Prepare to be astounded as we unravel the enigma behind the world's financial titan. In this gripping video, we dive deep into the labyrinthine corridors of high finance to unveil the mind-boggling investment prowess and net worth of the company that silently shapes nations, BlackRock. Hi there, you are watching the Elite Living Channel. Join us on an enlightening expedition as we uncover the hidden truths and untold stories that define the astonishing journey of this economic colossus. BlackRock was founded in 1988 by Larry Fink. Fink was inspired to start BlackRock after working at First Boston where he saw firsthand the power of passive investing. Passive investing is an investment strategy that involves buying and holding assets for the long term rather than trying to time the market. BlackRock's first product was the BlackRock Institutional Index Trust, which was an index fund that tracked the performance of the SP500 index. The fund was a success, and it helped to launch BlackRock as a major player in the financial markets. In the years since its founding, BlackRock has grown exponentially. The company now has over $10 trillion in assets under management, which makes it the largest asset manager in the world. BlackRock invests in a wide variety of assets, including stocks, bonds, real estate, and alternative investments. The firm offers a variety of funds and portfolios, investing in vehicles such as equities, money market instruments, and fixed income. Clients look to BlackRock for access to mutual funds, investments focused on objectives related to retirement income and college savings, and exchange-traded funds. Interestingly, BlackRock is the parent company for the iShares Group of Exchange-Traded Funds, the largest global provider of exchange-traded funds. BlackRock derives the majority of its revenue from investment advisory and administrative fees charged to its clients. Among BlackRock's major competitors, are the Vanguard Group, State Street Core, and T. Rowe Price Group in BlackRock's financials. BlackRock announced in mid-January financial results for Q4 of its 2021 fiscal year. The three-month period ended March 18, 2021. The company reported a net income of $1.6 billion, up 6.1 compared to the year-ago quarter. Revenue grew 14.0 year-over-year, to $5.1 billion. The company's AUM rose 15.4 year over year to a new high of $10 trillion. BlackRock generated $212 billion of net inflows during the quarter. The Americas region led all other regions with long term net flows of $139 billion. The company's exchange traded funds offerings generated $104 billion in long term net inflows more than the long-term net inflows of retail and institutional investors combined. BlackRock is a major investor in the tech sector. The company owns shares in some of the biggest tech companies in the world, including Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. BlackRock's investment in the tech sector is estimated to be over $1 trillion. BlackRock's investment in the tech sector is spread across a wide range of companies, which helps to reduce risk. The company is bullish on the tech sector because it is constantly evolving and innovating, which creates new opportunities for growth. The tech sector is also global, which gives BlackRock access to a large pool of potential investors. Additionally, the tech sector is relatively young, which means that there is still a lot of growth potential. BlackRock is a major investor in banks. The company owns shares in some of the biggest banks in the world, including Jeep Morgan Chase, Bank of America, and Wells Fargo. These banks are all systemically important financial institutions, CIFAS, which means that they are considered to be so large and interconnected that their failure would have a significant impact on the global financial system. BlackRock's investment in banks is estimated to be over $500 billion. The company owns shares in some of the biggest insurance companies in the world, including Berkshire Hathaway, AIG and MetLife. These insurance companies provide essential services to businesses and individuals such as life insurance, property insurance, and health insurance. BlackRock's investment in insurance companies is estimated to be over $200 billion. 
BlackRock also invests in other financial institutions, such as asset managers, hedge funds, and private equity firms. These institutions provide a variety of financial services, such as asset management, investment banking, and lending. BlackRock's investment in other financial institutions is estimated to be over $100 billion. The company owns shares in some of the biggest healthcare companies in the world, including Johnson, Johnson, Pfizer, and Roche. BlackRock's investment in the health sector is estimated to be over $300 billion. BlackRock's investment in the health sector is spread across a wide range of companies, which helps to reduce risk. The company is bullish on the health sector because it is a critical part of the global economy. The health sector provides essential services to businesses and individuals, and it is a major driver of economic growth. Although the exact amount of money it has invested in Ukraine is not yet disclosed, Global Asset Management BlackRock will coordinate investment in rebuilding Ukraine's economy, Kiev announced on Wednesday. Following a meeting between President Volodymyr Zelensky and BlackRock CEO Larry Fink, the government confirmed that the Wall Street Titan agreed to coordinate the efforts of all potential investors and participants in the reconstruction of our country. As a result of the agreement, BlackRock will channel capital into multiple sectors of the Eastern European country's economy. Since an initial meeting between Zelensky and Fink in September, discussing the transfer of public and private investments into Kiev, the two sides have been working on a comprehensive project advising the government in how to structure the nation's reconstruction funds. In November, the Ukrainian Ministry of Economy, MO, and BlackRock Financial Markets Advisory signed a memorandum confirming the plan. BlackRock FMA will advise the MO on establishing a roadmap for the investment frameworks. Implementation, including identifying design choices for the envisioned setup, structure, mandate, and governance, the $8 trillion asset manager said in a statement last month. This comes a week after Zelensky visited Washington to meet with President Joe Biden and deliver an address to Congress. The House approved a $45 billion aid package for Ukraine. In the ever-evolving world of finance, one entity stands as a testament to the power of strategic investment and global influence. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.